Um, just on our way back to Nellis and uh, came down the Sally Corridor back from the range. I uh, got no weapons on board unfortunately, but I sort of worked out how to get this um, pod working. There's a few hiccups I think with it still. Um, but it's certainly different to the way it was before. Um, so I've got the pod right, it's in standby at the moment. I'll just bring it, um, bring it back up again. We'll put the third page back up again. And so the pod's currently sitting at seven right, just anyway. Um, I'll just park it. Um, so I'll use the cage uncage, and it's parked it at 180 to the rear, which you can see just below the freeze at the top 180 right, and it's uh, 0.3 down. Um, I'll just zoom back out from where are we? Uh, take it back to zoom zero. There we go. Um, and up in the top left corner, you can see uh, OPR. So that's sort of its baseline position. Um, what I want to get it to do is to look over there at um, Nellis. We've got 5.8 and I want it to target the airfield and then I want to play around with some of the area track and point track options. Um, so let's go um, to the camera mode which it's in there um, and we want a waypoint designate steer 4 as the target so I'll just quickly do that and there we are it's target it's now looking at the airfield so there we are looking at Nellis um, yeah but that's not what I want to attack I want to attack something on the airfield in OPR I can slew any other mode I can't let's zoom in a bit pick something on the airfield uh, we've got some fighters down there and uh, it's nasty aggressor of 15 so we'll lock one of those up so I'm going to redesignate that as our target so there it is 12 miles and then I'm going to right castle over and put it in area track now I can't move the cursor so it's in area track I've shifted the target position and you can see it says OPR area track just lost the pod, we'll just keep orbiting around, we've got plenty of fuel. Um, so that's how you can get the um, pod onto target. The other method I, I learnt is to put it in air to air mode, um, where it's looking uh, at vector velocity, and then designate a ground target with that and switch to air to ground, but it's a bit naff if you ask me. But um, I think the best option is to have a pre-planned waypoint in your target area at least to get the pod looking in the right spot and then once you're in there just without an area track or without a point track you shift the cursor around pick your target and then switch it into area track which I've done and we're sitting good standoff now at 17 miles I'm waiting for the target to come back in and we could probably because we're pretty well set up we could run in off this run and um, make an attack at the moment. Well, that here is the noise of jets. <laughs> um, and we'd also be a bit higher. But um, I'll keep running around. It's pretty, I don't have any weapons. Um, red target's coming around with 65 degrees to run. There we are. Pod's picked it back up again. Let's uh, zoom in. Well, max zoom, anyway. Um, so I can right castle over again, and I'll get a point track on that fighter. So. Now I've got a point track on that position. Um, I can't move the cursor. So that's um, pretty much how, how it works. To get out of that, if I right track again, back to OPR, I can move the cursor again. So, and pick another target and go through the whole process again. So there's a hook down there, there is. Pick that one to be bigger. And I've redesignated that as the target and hit it with an area track, point track, right castle again. So you can see, we can start that again. So now if I go 
cage uncage, it'll pull it back to 180 back there and stowed it. And I'll have to go through the same process to bring it back on to the target again so it's in APR.